guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here I am Jodi and I focus mainly on fashion beauty and lifestyle I am super duper excited today because I've been now finally able to give you my long overdue bedroom makeover DIY yeah um, so before we get into the video guys please a uh, thumbs up this video I've worked extremely hard on it and when I say DIY it was actually a DIY I actually did it myself no help from my hub store no professional help at all I promise you so I deserve a thumbs up if you are new here I would appreciate if you could just join the Islanders family by subscribing down below and of course I'd love to get your feedback on in the comment section down below so without further ado let's get into the video guys so this is what my bedroom looked like before it was super duper overcrowded and I wanted to get a little change basically it wasn't horrible but I recently changed it up as you can see the TV is over the bed so the bed was on the opposite side before and this I took this video just when I decided that I was gonna do this makeover so I'm going ahead now and I'm gonna use my drill to unmount my television um, as you can see right there I know I said that I did not get any professional help but there was a bracket on the wall that I my drill could not remove so I had to call in someone to remove that the beauty about makeovers is that you don't have to get everything new so when you're doing your makeover spray paint is your best friend I have I've had this chest in storage that I was gonna throw out and I decided why not to give it a, a coat or two of this matte black spray paint and I'll be doing all my spray painting in the beginning of my video so I had these two mirrors laying around my house one was in white the other was in gold but I wanted both of them to be in gold so I went out to my local hardware and I grabbed this bottle of gold spray paint and I decided to give it you know a try to see if it will actually catch the color of the initial mirror and after several coats I think I did fairly well remember guys when you are spray painting you need to have your masking or painter's tape that will help you basically if I'm not getting a mess all over paints basically all over the place these black mirrors I initially bought to use over the headboard but I changed my mind since I decided to spray paint the gold ones so this one had a silver around the trims of it which I didn't want I just wanted it for it to be black so I went, a went, went ahead with my matte black spray paint and I did just that Trinkets I got from a local hard harbor that's near to my home. I initially spray painted them in this metallic gold color, rustic gold I should say, but I end up didn't liking it, so I changed it out, and you'll see that in towards the end of the video. And I also spray painted these little other trinkets in like a matte black color as well, and this will be used for a little plant tree. So once again I've used it, I've decided to use my gold spray paint and I'm going to go ahead and accent my light switch as well as my door knob and guys this is a renters friendly that's what I like about these DIYs so just ensure that if you are renting or leasing you get a um, permission from your landlord to make these small changes because if you're moving they can always change back so you want to secure the area with uh, of course my painter's tape and I just went over 
two to three coats with my spray paint you did it once allow it to dry and then you go over it um, repeatedly but always allow it to dry before doing that so I did both those my switch as well as my doorknob I'm gonna go ahead now and remove what I can out of the room I just decided to move my headboard guys if you want to see how I did this DIY headboard please leave a comment down below I made this headboard long before I decided to start a YouTube channel so I'm gonna go ahead now and this I'm gonna start painting so you want to secure your area so I'm using all the garbage bags as well as old sheets if you have a tarp which is a tarpaulin that would be good as well I am a very messy painter so I'm just trying to secure my area as best as I possibly can I, I went to my local hardware and I picked up these uh, trunkings because I wanted to do the board and button uh, and I thought that the trunkings would be super appropriate if you are renting because it will not damage the area so these trunkets actually are 25 by 16 I believe yeah that's the measurement I actually wanted a smaller trunking but that was not available so I picked up these as well as this uh, um, clear silicone and I did already have uh, my car gun on hand and guys these things are very affordable so you can always invest in them you'll have them around the house for future use this is where you should not pay attention in math class I am gonna do some measuring which is basically simply measuring from the floor to the ceiling to see how tall that was and that was about I got a hundred inches I believe and then I just divided that into the amount of trunkings that I have so I'm just basically showing you what I did there it's a hundred I divided that into five I had five pieces of trunking so I know I should meet them 20 inches apart and I'm just going to go ahead and use my tape measure and my pencil to mark out 20 inches from the floor to the ceiling and I'll do that for the entire section of the wall the trunking is basically self-adhesive but it's based on the purpose that we are using it for it will not hold up so this is where that is why we are gonna go ahead and use our silicone so I'm removing uh, the seal that uh, um, that part is basically adhesive and I'm gonna go ahead now and use my clear silicone um, basically to hold it much much better um, I uh, used a generous amount because this trunking was a little bit heavier than the one that I initially wanted the initial one that I wanted was obviously smaller so it would be a little bit lighter so it would be able to manage hold up on the wall guys be careful when you're using this because this sticks to anything it <laughs> from it it hits something it just sticks to it so I'm just um, basically putting on my trunking onto my wall as I said this is basically mocking the board and button which is a basically a, a, a a popular um, technique bedroom technique now if you go on Pinterest you see a lot of it and this DIY was a Pinterest inspired DIY of course with adding my own touches onto it I'm taking the opportunity right now to ask you if you are watching this video and you aren't subscribed to my channel I'd love to have you join the Islanders family I focus mainly on fashion beauty and of course lifestyle so you'll be getting more DIYs uh, more lifestyle related content anything house decor related I just put a mix of everything on my channel and I am a fun person to be around so when you apply your trunking you want to get a damp cloth and you want to wipe above and below it because sometimes the the adhesive which is the silicone actually spills over and you don't want that because it will show when you're painting and I actually made a mistake and it, that will be picked up when I'm painting so you'll see that so this is what my wall is looking like now it is for the fun part time to paint I am using this easy care ultra premium paint which I picked up in rapid true value and that is the color seal gray this color is basically um, the theme of my home I have used this color around my entire house so the, the theme of my house is basically gray black white 
and uh, I'm using tones such as gray, sorry, gold and silver. So this is just basically adding to the theme and I'm starting in the corner. You can use your painter's tape to basically secure the edges, but I think I'm skilled enough <laughs> to get it done. I mean, I'm a, I'm a messy painter, but I'm also skilled at making the lines. Tell me, make that make sense. But I just went ahead and did my outline, my corners, and then I just went in with my strokes back and forth. Power, power went while I was painting, so I'm just using flash light from the phone to try to get the rest of the, the painting done. So let us see. I'm at now almost there. But I am a bit concerned because I think I was using the paint a little bit too hard. But I just have this little area left and uh, the top area. So let us see if we can push it. And uh, I need to recoat all of the trunkings because these are plastic. So they take more, it has to take more than one coat. But I have to allow it, base it and then allow it to dry. And I'll coat it probably about four to five times but this is how it's looking so far i'm liking it <laughs> yeah all right so let's get cracking so this is how the wall is looking when it's completely finished and i'm just allowing that to dry i'm going to move on now to doing my window treatments i'm using my same um window treatments that i had before which are my curtains i'm just dropping in this middle because i said i like gray so i purchased like different gray shades of gray for my home so all i do is to drop a different pieces in the middle so before i had in i believe a yellow i'm gonna now put in a white just to add a nice little contrast in between that and um, these are actually blackout curtains because you know i initially wanted sheer but when i thought about the privacy you know you want to have that maintain your privacy be sure to pay attention to the type of curtains that you buy i initially wanted to install uh, um, some blinds but that wasn't possible at the moment so to not you know have the video being held up for any longer i decided to you know invest in this little white piece of curtain two panel comes in this pack and i also picked up this curtain from rapid true value a lot of the pieces that i got were from rapid true value and it was reasonable too comes in the pack and i get the, you know it gave it a nice contrast i'm going to go ahead now and make my bed as you can see there i layered i'm going to do a layering so i have my fitted sheet which i put on before as well as my top sheet i'm going to go ahead now with this throw i have invested in quite a few of these throws when you see the before video you're gonna see where i actually had a gray one on my bed and now this is blue so i like to basically layer i am stepping away from comforters really because it's too bulky to store and when they are washing it's it's also a problem so i'm just stepping away from that so this is how i basically make my bed i'm just adding now my cushions and the white ones i believe i got from a wayfair mm -hmm and the green ones were from amazon and i also picked up this uh, um uh, this runner also from amazon this is a macrom macrame Macra macrame <laughs> macrame um, uh, um runner and i'll uh, try my best to link everything that i'm mentioning down below I'm going to go ahead now and do my hanging fixtures. I'm going to use my hardware hooks. You can also use um, the, 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 the 3M um, tapes and stuff like that. And I, what I like about these hooks, they do not leave any large holes in the wall. As I said, this is a renter's friendly DIY home makeover. And I'm going to go ahead to use that and hang up my mirrors everything i do on one side will be done on the opposite side as well so i'm just basically you know measuring up to see you as opposed to the other side if it actually lines up if you're an avid watcher of my content and especially my vlogs you would have seen me purchasing a lot of these items so i'm just basically putting them on my uh, um, 
bedside table which you know I spray painted and was using that hexagon mirror right there it's very chic very classy I also picked that up in rapid true value as well and I'm gonna place my trinkets on them I'm just gonna play around as you can see my mirror has not been cleaned as yet so I'm just moving them around to see where I'd like for them to be placed um, in the end I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, place these two um, little light rugs I'm stepping away from the bulky mats or rugs in the room area and as well I'm gonna place this wall rack over my headboard um, uh, and I'm gonna apply my trinkets onto it that's the cost that I pay for it and I also pick this up in true value if you have made it thus far into the video guys thank you so much for watching i have worked so hard on this diy and i hope you love it as much as i do remember to thumbs up the video guys remember to leave a comment down in the comment section it will help with this video to get pushed out so more people can see how you can transform your space on a budget guys my name is jody and i aspire to inspire until next time guys what good